We want to incorporate the e-mobility facilities in the, in the petrol stations, especially the new ones. For, for motorcycles, we use the uh, swapping stations. So there is, has to be a place where these batteries are charged and then the border borders come and exchange. But for cars, we need a place where these cars are still few in the country, but because there are no charging stations. So if these petrol stations can now incorporate a place where I can come and charge my car for an hour and, and go. And the more we incorporate, so that we transition, because the world is surely moving. It will take time, but it's surely moving. And this is a new line of business for these investors. Do you think the bill of level uh, we are inputting the fuel will help the fuel prices to go down? Yes, that is what government is expecting, because we have been buying uh, fuel from middlemen. Now we want to buy from the source. Okay, so, at what level are we in the transition to e-mobility? I would ask my technical person to answer that. <laughs> Where are we? We've launched the fuel card. Not only did we launch the fuel card for the corporate and individuals, we've launched the fuel card for border border riders. We want to bring border border, border, border riders is a major stakeholder in this economy. Although for many years, they have always been left behind. We want to show them, we love them, we appreciate them, we appreciate the role they play in the community, we appreciate the role they play in the growth of the economy. Given their lifestyle and their business, do you think they can... Economic, or rather, what we call today the economic social responsibility. Beyond building companies, you have to build them in a very sustainable manner. So I'm very grateful that you're thinking of planting trees, beautifying this area, and doing things beyond your normal fall. And I call upon other companies, emulate what this company is doing. Because we have to look at the development of our country as a partnership. And we have to develop in a manner that we leave it for the generations to come. So thank you, and Total, um, Total. Texal Energies should continue to move forward in that direction. Yeah, Total has been here for too long. Beyond the practicalities, ladies and gentlemen, the growth and success of this company will have a ripple effect through our society. Honorable Minister, we have an amazing lady in Honorable Musenero, driving science and technology in this country. We are not going to move far as a country if we don't ensure that whatever we're doing is best on science and technology.